Welcome back my DIY nomads, we are back again, I've been away for a long long time I know, um, I just, I don't want to make the classic YouTuber creator sort of excuse of like I needed some time off YouTube, I didn't really need some time off YouTube, I just really wasn't in the mood for making videos, so I'm back, um, let's get cracking with this, uh, we're starting with the, we're really getting into the looting now, so uh, it's it's pretty, it's, the, it's a huge project. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update of what's happening, and I am going to be hopefully releasing sort of semi-regular content now. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for being so patient, and uh, let's get cracking. Look at how bad this rot is, everyone. If I get this little prior, I can just literally cut into it. Oh. It was quite a lot of work to get the floor out on the uh, on Ben's Luton, but do you know what? For a 20-year-old van, I think it's over 20 years old, the floor wasn't in that bad a condition. I know it definitely had to go, it had to be ripped out, um, but the ply really did hold up very well, seeing as it was completely exposed underneath. Once it was out, it allowed us to fully sort of look at the frame and see where we needed to go next, and we actually needed to remove the whole back of the Luton box. That was surprisingly easy. Oh, oh, that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. We have it fully on the stilts that we built. Um, this fuse box that was wrapped around the beam has been disconnected and taken off. The mud guards above the wheels that were attached to here to these beams. They've been taken off. This thing is completely floating above the transit. So we're now gonna drive the van out. We have we basically have the, the van out and Ben's been working. I'll show you what he's been doing. So the box is off. It's on our saw horses, our wooden frame saw horsey star boys. And basically this has just allowed Ben to access all of the chassis, which is so useful for him because this was an old girl. She was, you know, 20 years old or whatever, and she was starting to show her age. So Ben has been grinding back all of the tops, anywhere on the sides that has needed it, where there's been rust and um, applying red oxide primer. He's on his second coat now. Um, it's just taking a long time to dry because it's so cold and it just, it's, it's an oil based thing and we are, it is a slow process. But it is also giving Ben an opportunity to look at stuff like, so basically before he took out, he took out the suspension, replaced the shocks with the box on, but now because we've got the box off, he's going to replace the other side shock, the other shock, that, He's going to replace the shock on the other side because this is such a prime opportunity to do it. It made, makes everything so much easier um, just having full access to the chassis like this. One distinct advantage of a Luton is that yeah we just basically removed 24 bolts, lifted up the back box which I know all Luton boxes seem to be different but this one is just an aluminium skin at the moment and it just 
two guys we could lift it up and get it off and you know sort out a bunch of issues underneath which is amazing really when you think about it um, we're so excited to get this started it's bizarre having this off in the workshop but um, it's gonna be really really fun um, I don't know if Ben has I, I don't know if we've explained it before so with the box that is the Luton box that was on Ben's van before this front part here that goes above the cabin as you saw from the the first video it doesn't go it only goes just sort of just above the driver's compartment um, and that oh, sorry this was all fiberglass on the top and on the front this front face here um, and what we're planning on doing is getting rid of the whole fiberglass roof because it's shit and it's cracked and there's just holes in it and also get rid of the fr fiberglass front and this whole front is going to be extended out um, and then the front is going to be supported on two steel rods that will go all the way down to the chassis on the van basically go through the bumper onto the chassis and get supported that way this whole top is going to be timber supported um, and I just want to clarify for anyone that's thinking of commenting about this we know this is going to be a heavy conversion we know this final weight of the van is going to be heavy we don't care right we're going Ben is going for not a touring van he's going for literally a Luton home micro home van he's not planning on blatting down the motorway at 70 miles an hour going hundreds and hundreds of miles in one trip sort of thing like this is his like local micro home you know cruising around van it's gonna be it's gonna be banging and it's gonna be amazing right guys there's a little final send off for this video Ben has done an awesome animation on SketchUp um just showing you know what he's planning with this Luton this Luton box um we also want to look into having it so that the box itself you we can access the bolts that bolted down to the frame quite easily so in theory we can uh we're going to build some legs underneath so in theory we can lift up these hatches undo the bolts lift up the box and drive the van out and use the van out so it's basically like a little portable mountable home that can go anywhere anyway this is the animation check it out we'll be back in a second Right guys, I hope you think that it looks cool. Um, we're really excited to get started on this. And I'll catch all you DIY nomads next time. <laughs> <laughs>